Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Many of you are familiar with the Great War Channel here on YouTube. It's an excellent source for understanding the more complicated and cultural aspects of World War I. You're probably also familiar with Star Wars Battlefront II. However, you might not be aware of the connection they share, which is an interesting in-game Easter egg. Now, if you complete the game's campaign and view the extremely long credits, you'll see a section devoted to the voice actors of Star Wars Battlefront II, and there you'll see a name you might recognize, Indy Nidell. Indy is, of course, the host of the Great War Channel, and has actually helped with another EA game in the past, Battlefield 1. For that game, he helped write the historical codex entries, name some of the medals, and more. So, what's Indy's connection to Star Wars Battlefront 2? Well, it turns out Indy did some placeholder announcer lines, which apparently developers liked so much, they kept them in the final game. Indy's character isn't easy to recognize, and that's for good reason. He's the announcer droid for the game's Heroes vs. Villains mode. The droid announces the mode's next target and also provides some dry wit when the characters are defeated. It's actually one of my favorite aspects of Heroes vs. Villains, aside from the cross banter between different characters that know each other from the Star Wars movies. General Power. General Solo. So what do you think about Indy's cameo in Star Wars Battlefront 2? And have you spotted any other Easter eggs? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Share on social media like Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to subscribe. Turn on notifications for the latest news on your favorite games. As always, thanks for watching.